Hey, what's up everyone? Wolfman here and we are going to go over how to get subsonic ammo today. And as you see, I'm getting attacked by my dog, Handsome Jack. And uh, or Handsome Jack Jackson is his real name, but any Borderlands 3 fans out there know where that came from. So, uh now this was kind of a pain in the ass and I apparently did this already, but when I made this clip, I didn't realize I did and I honestly don't remember how I did it, but I'm going to show you how to do it real easy. We figured this out, uh, me and a buddy, uh, Vintage DC, uh, playing on a stream with him uh, night before. And then I decided, I gotta, if you're playing with people, only one person can get it. So you got to let that one person grab all five packs, and then you have to repeat, re, repeat, re-rinse, re whatever you want to call it words they're not my strong suit and you have to do it yourself so i just went back without him did it pretty easy now you can uh go to your quest and you'll see the subterfuge quest that is how you're going to get your subsonic ammo here and uh well actually it's subsonic ammo blueprint the ammo itself is found in police vans and it's kind of a pain in the ass. You're only going to find it maybe 25% of the time, and the police vans are very hard to open up. So as you see, we have to stealthily complete the quarantine zone objective without alerting any volatiles or using camouflage. And that means your Night Hunter boosters. And actually, no, Night Hunter booster you can use. Uh, no using uh, dead bodies to camouflage yourself. And you see the bounty board there, the little darts. That's where you're going to get your bounties in case anyone didn't know. We are in the slums. And through the advances of teleportation and editing, I'm gonna, we're going to be already over there already. As I see, I started in the tower. We're going to open up our map here in a second. Now, this one can be a little frustrating. I am playing on hard. I do have a nightmare set up on my following that I had finished, but... I see I open up the map. This is where our underground parking quarantine zone is. See the follow my mouse there. That is where the tower was. That's where we started. We ran all the way across up to the north. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit northwest. And there's the entrance for our quarantine zone. Now you want to make sure you have a ton of flares. I have the Zyad flares. Now you don't need them. You could use regular flares. But this is how we're going to kind of cheese our way right through this so let's get inside the zone here now what am i doing click on it already so normally this is going to be a lot easier if you're playing on normal it doesn't have to be on hard it doesn't have to be on nightmare if you're on normal your your experience with this is going to be a lot different the volatiles or don't get scared away from the flares as easily as they do on normal when me and my buddy did it they didn't even like have an issue i have a little bit of an issue here getting them to run away and when you complete it the volatiles disappear and you just run out that wasn't the case but you shouldn't have any issues getting back regardless so our first requisition pack that we have to not requisition sorry first supply pack that we have to get it's just your disaster relief packages. It's going to be in this first van here. I decided to kill some zombies in this. You don't have to. Just makes it easier, especially with those flares off. And there's our first disaster relief package. Now there's going to be two along this corridor. There's going to be one in the middle and then two along the opposite side. So they're going to be placed in like an H. That's where all five of them are. So I uh, forgot I had to go over more. For it. I was kind of looking for the car in the wrong spot here. And then just decided to kill a bunch of zombies. And gumbo is a fabulous weapon. I have a lot of fun with that thing. Wombo. I don't know how you just want to say it, but you're going to keep going straight through. Like I said, there's an H, there's the middle area, and just keep spamming your flares. Make sure any falls over. So you can use your. So there's one over there in the corner. You can use your. Uh, sensibility. There's our second package in that trunk. I think he dies by the electric there because he kind of froze him in there in the electric. 
Now, I should have looped back and went into the middle there, but I was trying to loop around because I was kind of dumb and didn't remember where I was going, unfortunately. But, like I said, just keep spamming those flares, kill any regular zombies that come at you, and you should not have any issues whatsoever. So this one's a little harder to get. You want to save that one for last. Which, I don't know why I kept going for it, so I'm going to loop around back here. See, we're not all perfect. You're getting the full-on realistic of what's going to happen when you probably do it. <laughs> I'm not saying you're stupid, I'm just, yeah. You know, be like me. I just want to make sure he runs away and not follow me through. Alright, so we're going to loop back around here and for it to set off a car alarm. Don't climb on the cars unless you have to. And instead of going through the middle like I should have, I go all the way to the end here, even though there is a pack right here. Our third regulation pack, or fourth, depending on how you did if you got that one in the middle before I did. It's going to be in that van in the corner. I want to make sure I cleared him out of there. I should be using my sense more, and I'm not. Do use your sense. It helps big time, especially at night when you're trying to run from these guys. Just keep spamming your flares. And there's our third pack. We still have not alerted any of them, even though they get that little bar on them reads as they see you. It is not alerted. That bar has to fully max out. So, like I said, we're just going to cheese our way through here. Flares are a beautiful thing if you collect enough supplies. You can just craft thousands of them, and they're awesome. So there we go in the middle and it's great about this is there's no lock picking whatsoever so we're going to go in this middle crate just like a regular drop crate and it's going to be right there so now we have four we have our last one this one like i said is the most pain in the ass of them there's a ton of zombies in there normally there's two or three volatiles hunting this area as you saw earlier when we went around the other side but because of that car alarm and so they probably ran over to the other side so you don't even have to fight all these people. I don't even know why I was doing this. Like I said, don't be like me. Just listen to what I say. Don't do it. As, <laughs> don't do as I did. So right around this corner here is the car. Um, just keep spamming my flares just in case. You know, you don't want to mess it up on your last one. Open the car alarm to go off. And then we are done. Complete it. So all three check marks in there. And I've learned how to craft subsonic ammo. I guess I didn't do it previously. I did get it right now. So now we come back over here. And there's our subsonic ammo. And you're going to need requisition packs. That's what I was talking about earlier. You get requisition packs in Old Town. And it's still it's a rare commodity, unfortunately. So in Old Town, you go to all the random, you know, the little uh, speaker blue icons and about a third of the time you're going to run into a new enemy well they're not new they're just uh they have higher powered guns and whatnot and when you kill them you get requisition packs from them and you can craft a subsonic ammo you could also go with the prison heist in the beginning the guards carry requisition packs also as you see this is pretty awesome you can use it you get no Zombies come after you. It's very quiet. Unfortunately, the ammo is very limited with it. It is not fun. In order to get a blueprint for these pistols in general, just go to the quartermaster if you haven't done so already, and you will collect a blueprint for the American pistol and the German pistol to make it into a silenced pistol. And you see, it has a little soda can silencer. In real life, guns aren't really this quiet, unfortunately, but. You know, it's a video game and movies. That's how they do it. Now we're going to craft some ammo. It does make... It takes one pack and one metal part for the requisition packs. And you get 10 rounds. So, unfortunately, I think it's 35 rounds. So, you have to... Depending on your ammo situation, I had to craft three packs. Or maybe it was four packs. I don't know. Anyway. So, this is three going on now. 
Yeah, I made three, and I was able to have enough. So you almost waste five rounds, depending on how you do it. I hold 45 rounds, sorry. There's 15 in the gun and 30 extra. That's what I was thinking of. So I was able to craft three, waste the 10 rounds over, and uh, that's how you get it. As you're your crafting, I hope you enjoyed the video. I haven't made any videos in a long time, and I'm going to start making some more. I hope you continue to follow the channel. If you're new, throw up a follow, throw up a like. Check out some of the links in the bottom to my movie movie podcast. And we also have a serial killer podcast through a Patreon. It is Grindhouse on 42nd Street. I do multiple things. I've been focusing on our podcast more so than gaming lately. That's why I've been slacking on the videos. Uh, but I am back. I'm doing streams on my Twitch. Wolfman Got Nards is a zero in the got. And uh, yeah, check out the links. All right. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. I'm Wolfman, and I'm out.